This funny contraption is an egg topper. You squeeze together the handles and it pushes out these 16 super sharp serrated teeth. Supposedly it cuts the top clean off an egg and I'll be trying it out in a minute, but first I want to show you what's inside this box. Even the box itself's got a nice feel to it. And when I open it up, in here's the gadget I want to show you. Oh, they don't half wrap it up well. So have you any idea what this is? There's a screen with some buttons on the top and it's got a micro USB charger point. It's this hexagonal shape with numbers across each side of the metal body. And on the base there's this circular arrow with either some holes for cooling or a speaker. It feels like a nice well built product and if I press a couple of buttons it kicks into life. It also comes with this USB lead to charge it and some instructions. So have you guessed yet? Well it's actually a timer. And it's got to be one of the smartest timers I've ever seen. Not only does it look really cool, but it's so simple to use. Let's say you want to set a 3 minute timer, you just find the number 3 on the casing and sit it down with that number facing up and the timer automatically starts a 3 minute countdown. Pretty cool, huh? Let's say I want a 30 minute counter. Just place it down with that number up. There's a 10 minute counter. 5 minutes. 3. 15 minutes. And 25 minutes. It's such a clever and simple idea. And if you need to, you can manually set the timer for any time up to 99 minutes. And if you are setting a custom time once you've typed it in, just sit it down and the countdown starts. There must be some sort of tilt sensor inside. If you want to change the time at all, just stand it up, then sit it back down again and the new time will start. When the countdown comes to an end, it'll start to beep. And you can even adjust the volume. And another cool feature is you can even use it as a stopwatch. Just place it facing down to start it, the arrow on the top will flash to indicate the stopwatch is counting, and when you want to know how long it's been counting for, just turn it over and it'll display the time. I really do like this product, but it's not cheap and I did find the display lets it down. It's weird, if you look at it face on, it's very difficult to see. And it becomes clear and visible if you look at it from an angle. I do however love the fact that it's USB rechargeable, you don't have to mess about with batteries. So if you're looking for a modern stylish timer, this could be the one for you. There's a link in the description if you want to buy one. If you want to try something a bit more old school, take a look at this triple sand egg timer. Again, it comes nicely packaged, and once I've pushed in these tabs, you can remove it from the box. Now look at this, it's actually a thing of beauty. There's three different hourglasses with different coloured sands, and they're held together in this lovely metal cage. So we've got a 3 minute timer for a soft boiled egg, 4 minutes for medium, and 5 minutes for a hard boiled egg. And let's try it out. I'm actually going to test it against a real clock to see just how accurate it is. If we take a closer look at each of the hourglasses, you can see they're actually shaped slightly differently in the centre. This may be to help calibrate the time, but it's probably just completely decorative. But it'll be interesting to see how accurate they are. So I found the 3 minute timer actually lasted for 2 minutes and 54 seconds. The 4 minute timer carried on for 3 minutes and 56 seconds. And the 5 minute timer stopped after 4 minutes and 50 seconds. So they really are pretty accurate. I do love it though, it's a really nice product. The packaging says to use it with medium sized eggs, so I'm going to try it out. I placed 3 eggs into some boiling water and turned over the timer. Once the first one had run out, I removed the egg and placed it into this egg cup. So this should be a nice soft boiled egg. And now's the time to try out the egg topper. The idea is we just place it over the top like this pull together the handles, and the blades cut off the top of the egg. Wow, look at that, it's actually worked really well. I'm impressed. It hasn't left any jagged eggshell dropping down inside of the egg, and it's cut a nice neat circle. The top has come off in one piece, and it's not made a mess at all. And to eat the egg, I'm going to try out these Windsor egg spoons. They've been designed with a nice round shape, and they're supposed to be really good for cleaning out the eggshell, so let's test it out. Well so far the egg is lovely and runny, it really is. And the spoon seems to be able to fit in the hole, so that's good. Under closer inspection though, I think the egg is actually a little bit undercooked. It seems like there is still a little bit of raw egg in there. I took the next egg out exactly when the 4 minute timer stopped. And I'm trying to use the egg topper again. But this time it really struggled, it kinda just smashed the shell and made a mess. 
I tried again, but it wasn't having it. So I picked it off with my fingers and peeled back some of the shell. Digging inside though and having a look, and this egg is cooked perfectly. Lovely and runny in the middle. Perfect for dipping in your soldiers. Oh, look at that. I took the next one out after the five minute timer finished. And this time the gadget worked again well. It removed the top nice and neatly. It was still quite runny though, this egg. But definitely firmer than the last one. And these round egg spoons are really good for cleaning out the shell. They're a perfect shape. Next I want to show you what's in this box. I'm opening it up with my safety box cutter. And this one's been wrapped up really well too. So check it out, it kinda looks like a candlestick holder. But it is actually a double egg cup. It's made from china so you do need to handle it a bit carefully. But it's a really cool looking thing. Perfect for a piece of nicely buttered toast. With a couple of eggs. So let's try our egg topper again. Oh no, this time I pushed a hole through the side of the egg with my thumb, but the top did come off. And not so much luck with this one. So I broke it off with a spoon. And I'm peeling it back a bit. It's a good fun way to serve a couple of eggs though, and it could make quite a nice gift for someone. But next I want to show you this. They call it the breakfast board. I'm peeling off the wrapper. You can see the idea on the picture here. It's a nice wooden chopping board shaped like an egg. There's these little bowls here at the end to hold a couple of eggs and a channel that goes all the way round to pick up any toast crumbs or spilt egg. And they also do one that's shaped like a piece of toast. It's exactly the same thing, but they do both feel well made and they're a decent thickness. So I'm boiling four more eggs and tipping the timer over. And when they were cooked, I'm testing them for how well they fit. They do sit well in the indentations, there is a little bit of a gap, but it doesn't seem to matter. And if I give the whole thing a little wobble, they lean over a little, but they don't roll out. There wouldn't be any problem carrying them on the board like this. And I found the same thing with the other board. Although there is a little gap here, they sit well and they don't roll around. So let's give this thing one last go. I'm trying it on this egg first. And whoa, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, hang on a minute, it took the shell clean off the egg. Check it out, there's the top, perfectly cut. And there's the egg. And when I tried it on this one... It's got to be said, it's done a decent job. It has cut it off pretty cleanly. And with these two, well, the first one's done exactly the same. Just cut off the shell. And no problems with this one. Again, it's cut it off cleanly. Maybe it just takes a bit of practice. So, once your toast has popped and buttered, you can place on a spoon and it's ready to serve. If you'd like to see some more really cool kitchen gadgets like these, you can click on the links. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.